video tutorial we will learn about the frequency modulation technique within the MATLAB platform so for it first of all we have a piece of code which just consists about 10 lines so line by line we will explain and we will learn that how it is going to work so in first line you can see that we have written a variable that is f underscore sample is equal to 2000 so what is the meaning of this f underscore sample is that it is just a variable and 2000 is going to store inside this variable but what it actually represents it actually represents the sampling frequency so and then what is the sampling frequency it is actually the number of times you can say that we we, we extract the data from any signal or we just take the values from any signal like you can say that we have a signal that is like a sine wave and we know that on x-axis it is time and on y-axis it can be anything but we are supposed to write amplitude amplitude is the maximum quantity of anything or maximum magnitude of anything so on y it is amplitude on x it is time because everything changes with respect to time time needs to change the amplitude but in nature everything is in the form of an analog signal so our system used to take or used to read the data or after some after some instant of time like you can say that uh, on one second it it used to read the amplitude then on two second and then on 2.8 or any time so we can say that the number of time we will take the data from the r we can say that read the value of the amplitude it is called as the sampling frequency and in one second how much time we will get the data or information from the signal it is called as the sampling frequency but this thing that is f underscore carrier it is the it is the frequency of the carrier wave because we know that in frequency modulation there are two signals the first one is the message signal or data signal and the second one is the carrier signal and usually the frequency of carrier is very high as compared to the information signal and in fm modulation it is because the it is frequency modulation you can say that so frequency will alter in order to show or in order to represent a data then the next thing is the time know that time is time only is the quantity that is like uh, if we used to take a number of sample so how much time we spent in that it is called as the time it is called as the timer t because we know that time and frequency that is sampling frequency are always inverse to each other that is t is equal to one hour fs so because more we try to get the sample obviously we will need more time so here it starts from zero and it will end at 0.2 and with the difference of one hour fs so one hour fs but here we are supposed to write sample because f sample 
because sampling frequency is f underscore sample and then they, they took a you can say that an inverse or complement to represent the time then this one is our x underscore c is our messy signal so here messy signal is nothing but like you can say that a sign signal and another the second part that is to multiply by sign is actually the same signal uh, like uh, like both are sign but it is having a double magnitude as compared to the first one yeah like you can say that it is multiplied by two and here it is that is sine theta in theta here it is mentioned as 30 and here it is mentioned as 60 because we know that sine theta is equal to 2 pi multiply by t or 2 pi you can say that rt so 2 multiply by pi multiply by r and multiply by t and here it is 2 pi or r is 30 then there is another constant that is called as the frequency deviation and we have fixed it to the 50 uh, it is here here we mentioned 50 but it can be altered is up to the condition of the environment then y sig then we have to do one more thing that we will perform the frequency modulation on x underscore six signal so here we have a built-in function that will perform frequency modulation on this x underscore sig and then it will also include f underscore carrier and then f underscore sample and then f def so what it will do actually will multiply both the signals or you can say that it is it used to perform the frequency modulation and then it will it will plot this y underscore sig and x underscore sig signal so how it will do first but first you need to learn about plot plot t comma x mean that t quantity that is time is on x axis and this x underscore sig is on y axis this r is just indicating the red color of the plot then t comma y means that y is on the y axis and t is on the x axis and y underscore sig is on y axis and t is on x axis and it, their plot color is b and then x label and y label means that it is mentioned on x label that is the time and amp is mentioned on the y label so here if we used to run it now we can see that what happened actually that this one is our what it is called as it is called as the sign or message signal the red one and here you can see that there are two parts like uh, one part is that in which messages are there and message information is there like you can say that this one that is this crust and this trough or like this crust this trough so here we can say this information is what stored so here you can see that when amplitude is too much high and it is crass so here you can see that in the blue wave the the, the there is a, a shifting in frequency you can see that that here in this crust it is there are more waves and they are having more frequency or their frequency is increased but in next drop their frequency is decreased and then in another crust the frequency is also increased and then then in drop the frequency is decreased and here you can see that if the trough is like having more uh, negative amplitude so here you can see that our carrier or our modulated signal is like you can say that is having less frequency as compared to this trough because it is 
it is having less amplitude so here you can see that just two signals are there a modulated one so you can compare this trough with this trough and with all other the uh, what's called as the signal the entire signal so hopefully you got some bit concept regarding the frequency modulation within the matlab if there is any sort of query or problem you can feel free to ask in comment section so thanks for watching